friends and welcome to another video today i am going to be talking about a fruit which you guys may not be very familiar with because it's not very popular you can only really find those fruit in mostly asian stores because that's the that's where the fruit really originate from it's from asia that is why not many people are very familiar with the fruit or you see many people using it so that's yeah. why this fruit is not very popular and maybe you're not seeing many videos about this fruit but i want to tell you about it because for the past five years i've been using that fruit for many different things and i just want to make you aware of it and if you can find it to use it then that would be a great fruit for you to use it's great for hair it's great for skin it's great for calluses and it's also good to eat for your general health so this fruit is called pomelo so what is the pomelo fruit i'll put a picture here for you so the pomelo fruit is one of the biggest citrus fruit and it's from the family of grapefruit grapefruit actually comes from the pomelo fruit the pomelo fruit and grapefruit has very similar There's taste two differences between them the grapefruit is smaller and the pomelo is larger the grapefruit has a little not too sweet taste but the pomelo is much sweeter than the grapefruit right so that's the two difference the first time i saw pomelo i said oh my goodness what a big grapefruit <laughs> then i saw the sign said pomelo and then actually i was in florida on vacation four or five years ago when i discovered this fruit and obviously we bought some i ate it i loved it and ever since i've been eating it but what I like it for is the fact that I can use it for many different recipes when it comes to fruits. Like if I want to use a fruit to make a recipe, like in the summertime, I like to make fruit syrup. So the pomelo fruit is a great one to make fruit syrup because the flavor is very intense when you make it. You can make it with the insides as well as the skin. The skin gives a more bitter flavor, but you can add cinnamon, and different flavoring into it to give it that taste that you want and then the inside part which is similar to the grapefruit it also makes this very citrusy tangy syrup that you can use in the summertime as an iced tea or you can add sparkling water onto it and it makes a fantastic mm -mm -mm drink so that is why i love the pomelo so right here i have some pomelo i ate one and I save the, the peels and the rhymes and I dry them. And so today I will be making two things with it. I will be making an oil with the peels and I'll be making, I'll, I'll store some and then the rest I'll put it to make candy. And for the pomelo candy, I will do a specific video because this takes a while it has to you have to rehydrate them and soak them and then you have to um, steam it a bit and then you're gonna add sugar and water but I'll do a video showing you guys but today I while I while I talk to you about it I'm just gonna put the pomelo the dry skins inside the jar this one is for my candy so I'm just gonna really Put that in there then i'm going to add water to it and then the rest this one i'm going to make the oil with and these i'm just going to store them away to make different things thank you You're welcome so let's talk about the characteristics of the pomelo fruit what does it look what does it look like i'm gonna insert some photos here so you can see because um i don't have one to show you guys at the moment but it looks very similar to a grapefruit it's just much bigger 
from since I've been eating it, I've discovered there's three different varieties. That's what I found in my area. When I was in Florida, I found some too. So there's a white one, there is a pinkish one, and there is a kind of and a kind of yellowish, kind of yellowish fleshy one. So it's kind of close to a creamish, creamish yellowish one. So they all have different flavors. Some of them are very sweet, some of them are tart, but mostly they're they're very sweet and uh so that's like one of the characteristic of it and it's very big the one that i buy here in canada the skin is yellow some of them that i saw in florida the skin is green the next thing i want to talk about is the benefits why would you want to be eating pomelo fruits in pomelo fruit is packed with amazing nutrients second of all it has a lot of vitamins in it one of the main vitamin riboflavin the second thing that is rich in is copper the the third vitamin that is rich in is potassium so these three things if you are lacking in your diet with those three things you would definitely get it from if get it if you're eating pomelo fruit and the last thing is the fiber content it has lots of fiber even when you dry the fruit like it's very fibrous like the inner skin is a very very thick and that's why i like it because i can use it for many different recipe and once you dry it you don't need a lot like i could grind this up and i make hair oils and then i can use it to convert into creams now all my things are in a jar now the last thing i'm going to discuss about the pomelo fruit is how i use it and the benefits that I found with it. So the first thing is I find it's really great for calluses. Like if you have a callus on your hand or if you have calluses on your feet, it works really well. All you have to do for calluses on your hand is you make an oil or a butter. You, you could use shea butter or coconut oil and then you just rub it on the callus and it really helps to decrease the area of the callus and heal it and make it better for if you have like calluses on your foot you can like brew a tea with this like soak it in water and you can add like rosemary and tea tree all with it and then you can soak your feet in there and it really helps and then you can try to scrape the callus off and you can also make a butter like i said before and you can put the butter on your callus and the last thing I find that it's really good for is making tea. I just hydrate them and then I use it to make tea and it tastes really good. Just the only thing is it's very, it's bitter. So don't put a lot if you're not a fan of bitter things. But this, the bitterness that's in the pomelo skin is good for you because when you drink that, it goes into your system and it stimulates your bile. It helps your body to make more bile. And the more bile you have, it helps to release more toxins in the body and get rid of toxins. So if you were to make a smoothie with this, that would be great. You just soak it overnight and rehydrate it and put a little bit in your smoothie and blend it up. And you just eat, drink it in your smoothie. It's going to be fantastic for your body. And you can do many researches to know the goodness of citrus peels and all the ingredients and all the good things that are in the peels especially the inner core of the peel all the things that it contains that is good for the body for the liver for the kidney and for just for basic health with your gut and everything like that so you can you can read up on all of that and you can find information now the reason why many people are not using this is because they're not aware of the benefits of it and they have not used it and many people are not talking about it so much 
but I've known about this for about the past five years. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. I like to share things with you all when I use it for my own self. And I can give you a true, honest answer. It's like when I tell you about herbs on my channel, these are herbs that I used when I was a kid. These are herbs that I'm presently using on my family and on myself. I used when we were sick, so I can definitely tell you this works and this does not work. So when I heard about the pomelo, um, I definitely had to try it myself and see if, you know, if, if it works and if it does what people say it does. And I also tried in other things with marine remedies that I've been making for years and see what kind of effect it's going to have. But like, it's amazing for skin. And the last thing I'm going to say that it works so great with is for acne. If you have acne, you just dry the skin, hydrate it then put hot water over it, leave it overnight and put that all over your face. This is amazing. It gets rid of pimples and it's a great. And if you make up oil with that, after you put this all over your face, then you rinse it out, then you put your oil on it. Or you could even soak this in witch hazel and have this to use for just like a toner on your face. And if you have pimples, okay, you go try it and then you to tell you tell me your results. You'll see how fast you'll get rid of that pimples. Any pimples that you have anyway on your chin without shaving, whatever. Any pimples you have, that get rid of pimples like really, really quick. So guys, this is a video. This is all I want to tell you guys about the pomelo fruit. I am going to pour my oil over it for the oil infusion. And I'm going to put my water over this one over this one for the candy all right one cinnamon stick inside of it for flavor I like to make my candy flavorful so I like to add a cinnamon stick in it and it just gives the candy a very nice flavor This one I'm just using plain old canola oil. It's canola oil. And I'm using canola oil because once you put this to soak in it, it changes the color. And I really want to see how much infused the pomelo rhymes are infused into the oil. If I use a darker oil, I won't be able to see. So this will tell me if I need to do a double infusion or if I need to leave it longer to infuse. And you just want to cover that and because this tends to float up you want to um, turn it upside down like this for the first day until it gets completely soft and then once it's softened then you can turn it right side back up and then the pieces would not be floating up again because you don't want it to be out of the oil you want it to always be inside the oil or else it's gonna have mold and you don't want that and that's it guys 
so i hope you go out and try these recipe they works really well if you do this rest these things that i tell you they work really well try it put a comment in the bottom when you do it and let me know what was your result so thanks for watching as always remember you're beautiful speak beautiful thoughts to yourself and i will see you in the next video ciao ciao